What's up? Mark here for Personal Training Biz. Why are so many personal trainers so worried about leads? Constant, I, it's all I hear is, is, I need more leads, where are my leads? Just really, really over, overthinking it. You need to know who your market is. Just like the other companies do. Mercedes knows who their market is. They know who to offer the product to. You need to do the same. You need to really ask yourself and be very honest with yourself. Who are the people that are more likely to hire me and keep me long term? And you need to not forget this. I mean, this is, this is big. You've got to know your, your audience. You've got to know your market. And you've got to go after those people. Not just by posting and hoping either, guys. You know, I've said it a thousand times. You've got to reach out to these people more directly. Yes, I want you to still use social media. Of course I do. But the majority of the time, it's, it's personal trainers posting and hoping. Oh, I used a new hashtag. Really? I want your odds to be better. You know, and, and so many trainers are like, well, you know, they don't understand that you don't need that many clients. If you're going to be a one-on-one trainer or maybe two-on-one small group, I mean, how many clients do you think you need? You know, all these gurus online, come to our summit. We're going to teach you how to get your leads and where your leads are. We have 13 internet experts here to blah, blah, blah. It's so silly. Yes, there's some people out there trying to help you and they have good intentions, but so many. It's just so fake. And uh, these people are just, they've never done this before and they don't understand the business. It, it, in so many ways, we're, we're much the same as a lot of businesses, but there are things that are different like who our market is. All those people think they'll think it's everyone. It's not. I want you to be choosy and handpick some people. And you drive by their place all the, di- all the time. You drive by the bank. You drive by the law firms, the doctor's offices, you know, the OBGYNs, the plastic surgeons. Handpick the people you want to work with. Be choosy. I don't want to just train anyone. I pick my people right from the start. And then I, I got them great results. You know, they could afford me. Saw them often, built a relationship. They told their friends and family who also could afford me successful people, committed people, driven people, then I can give back. Same with you. That's when you can start giving back. But you got to know your market. Nike knows their market. You get bombarded by Nike every day, don't you? Because they know you're going to wear their product. But they're not scared if you're wearing Under Armour right now. You know, they're not running away. They're still going to offer you their, your, their, their stuff, even though you might be wearing the competition. Same, you know, same thing with Under Armour. They're going to do the same thing. They're not scared. Well, I don't know if they're a lead. Hmm, they wear the other guy's stuff. I better stay away. No. Stop overthinking it. There's so many, so much opportunity out there, and, and you're missing it. And a lot of it is, is, is laziness or, or fear. Get off your butt. Stop hiding behind your phone. Reach out to these people directly. Yes, you could DM them. Yes, you could Facebook message them. Yes, you could email them. I just love, I love sending a note. I love a phone call. I love showing up. I love speaking engagements. Stuff that's a little harder. Stuff that shows more courage. Understand who your market is. So the number one thing you need to ask, start asking yourself, who's my market? Who do I want to work with? But you need to be specific and you need to tell yourself why. You can't just sit there and I just want to help people that, that need to lose weight. Well, that's not really specific. I mean, who are those people? That's going to be the hard thing about the leads. I'm never going to quit saying it. You know, 21 years in this industry, you need to go after some people that actually can afford your service. That's how you're going to sustain and grow your business. Then you can start doing really what you want. There's where it starts to get even more fun because then you can start giving back. That's what I've been doing. That's what I'm teaching. You cannot grow your business with people that can't afford your service. You're going to get one, lose one, get one, lose one. It's going to be a rat race. You're going to get burnt out. When you get the right clients, you don't got to worry about much. You don't got to worry about the cancellation policies. We don't got to worry about all this other crap that everyone talks about in our industry. It's, it's ridiculous. Know your market. Mercedes knows theirs. Nike knows theirs. Your local convenience store knows theirs. You need to do the same. And you need to start hitting these people up. Show some courage. Okay. I'm here to help. You know I am. I'm going to give you this information for free. You don't got to come to my summit. You want to do a phone consultation? Yeah, that's not free. But you got to put in the work. I'm going to give you everything I got. All my knowledge. And I do most of it on, on online for free anyway. You know? So, 
comment below any questions you have hit me up privately you know you can do that i'll always respond to you dm me instagram facebook message of course email me marketpersonaltrainingbiz.com i want you to make it i want you to win i'm not going to let you down so use me okay we'll talk soon thank you